What is up guys? Joe Holland here and we are headed north. I'm here with the one, the only, Donnie Johnston. There he is. Hey, how goes it? We're off to another adventure up here in the North Main Woods. Every time I hear Joe say, let's go up north, I get all excited, even at my age. Nothing excites me too much, but something like that really does. So I really enjoy getting up here and and uh, seeing what's what's up with this country right now. This year is, it's, <clears throat> let's see, it's February, it's March 1st. Yeah. And hardly any snow on the ground, it, which is quite amazing for Northern Maine. So we probably cannot drive in to where the camp is. We're going to have to park and travel in by snow machine. But we're all set up for that. Uh, got a sled uh, to put all our gear on, and uh, and we'll head in and see what's what. So uh, stay tuned, I guess, and, and uh, it's going to be an adventure. You never <laughs> know what's going to happen. Yeah, we uh, we don't really have much planned this trip, which is nice. This is probably our first, or maybe second just come up and enjoy the camp trip. I think the one with Elliot was our first one, right? Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, we were up here, what? That was December, right? December, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we're, uh, nothing planned this trip. We're gonna work on the outhouse a little bit. We, if Stevie makes it up tomorrow, we're gonna plumb in the propane line for the oven, the stove, the four burner stove and oven. And other than that, we didn't even bring any fishing stuff. It's still ice fishing oh, season. Well, I do have it well, in my slip. Yeah, I guess Donnie's got some. But I we, got some. We, ain't gonna, we don't have any bait. Just in case we have a mud puddle we can fish in. Yeah. But no, we weren't planning on fishing. We're just coming up to enjoy the camp, enjoy the company, and we'd like to get to the sides of that wood stove glowing red and see how that thing yeah. handles it in the winter. Right. We're kind of curious to see how that's going to heat right now. It's, uh, would you say the temperature? 13, uh, 12, 12, 12 degrees. degrees out. Uh, so we're interested to see how in the camp we'll uh, take this real cold weather and heating it up. So, yeah. so uh, we're, we're still about an hour away and there's, there's been areas that have got snow up here and there's areas that got no snow up here. So we're hoping our area has snow and we have to snowmobile in to get to camp. And then if it does, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, snowmobiling around, just looking for tracks, looking for where oh, the- Wow, we got a train Yeah, we got a train coming. Looking to where the fur is crossing, looking for moose, looking for moose antlers maybe. So we'll have fun, should be a good time. That guy ain't even stopping. He isn't even stopping at this. You see a train? Uh, there's a train over, he's packed. We good to go? Yeah, go, go for it. Yeah, he's packed there. Oh, there's one oh, yeah, coming another down one the coming. track. Uh-oh. Trains <laughs> coming down the track. Yeah, so that's the plan, guys. We always appreciate you guys and all the support you give us. And we found that we got a pretty strong following with up here at the camp in the North Main Woods. So uh, that's why we're going to share it with you. So Donnie's going to, you know, we're going to have some good campfire camp wood stove stories to share with you guys we're gonna eat good this trip i promise you that we always do yeah <laughs> never fails but we have good food yeah and i'd like to introduce you guys a little bit more to stevie because all you guys know is he's the guy that can't run a nail gun and is real slow on the job site none of that's true so <laughs> we'll introduce you to stevie a little bit better on yeah. the channel and get a little dialogue from him and and hear some of his stories too. He's a hell of a guy. He's as good as they get. Yeah. Donnie puts a stamp of approval on him. Yeah, don't get any better than Stevie. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So that's what we're looking to do. We're looking to have some fun and enjoy the camp and enjoy the North Main Woods. Maybe see a couple moose. Maybe see a couple rabbits. Maybe, maybe do a little plinking too. We brought up a couple 22s. Maybe shoot some squirrels, some rabbits. Uh, I yeah. don't know. And it'd be interesting to see how the mouse population is up here. Yeah. We, we, uh, last time we were up in December, we caught, what, three or four? Yeah. In the camp, which we thought we had a really tight camp, but uh, we found out where they were getting in, and uh, we remedied that. So we'll be interested to see if we have any in the traps this time. So, 
Yeah, they were climbing in. I ran out of soffit vents, and I'd already cut the holes. So I put screen in over it, stapled the screen, and they actually ate through the screen and upside down to climb in the soffit and get in that way. It's crazy. So, but this this trip I brought more soffit vents, so we'll we'll get those vents screwed in. So we got a couple small jobs to do this trip. You know, the camp's not entirely done, but it's done enough for us this winter. Yeah, we're gonna believe it or not. We're gonna insulate and put V-match on the inside of the outhouse um, because we have a composted toilet. So in the winter time, which is one of the main seasons, fall and winter, that will be coming up here, uh, you have to have a certain temperature in the outhouse for the toilet to operate. So we're gonna insulate it and have a small heater in there when we're up here to use it. Uh, so it'll biodegradable whatever we put in it so so we'll see how that goes I don't think I'm ever gonna financially recover from this outhouse <laughs> it, it's taken longer to build this outhouse than to build the whole camp <laughs> tell them how many times oh it's rained on you every time I would start to work on this outhouse I, I made this my project and uh, every time I would start to do anything on it, and I started many times, it would rain. Yeah. And I was out there printing, cutting boards in the rain. And, uh, so this time, we said, I said, well, it can't be raining this time of year. It would be snowing, if anything. Well, I heard on the forecast coming up here that they predicted rain for Saturday, oh, which is tomorrow, and the tomorrow was the day I was going to work on the outhouse. Oh my gosh. So, but luckily it'll be on the inside of the outhouse, so we'll be protected because we got some protection on the roof and uh, uh, kind of made it watertight, so that'll be, a, that'll be a good thing. So yeah, this outhouse has been quite a laugh amongst us. Uh, especially me. Uh, <laughs> it's really something. Yeah. So, we'll see how it goes. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get into the outhouse. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have one of the finer outhouses in the North Main Woods. <laughs> I, I have a feeling. Uh, yeah, and then I heard Pat said he's cleaning out houses now. And I took it as he's cleaning out houses. Right, yeah. But apparently he's cleaning out houses. Yeah. But if he's cleaning out houses, we'll pay him to come clean ours. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, we'll pay him good money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll even feed him. Well, that then we'll that, lose that money. Might, yeah, we'll lose money there. <laughs> yeah, that guy, that's the only guy I know that needs sideboards on his plates. <laughs> Well, we're just rolling into the town of Ashland. We're gonna stop and see if we can get some brown bread in a can, because Donnie and I both forgot our last can we got at home. It's getting hard to find, but he thought he saw some last week. I went to two Hannaford brothers, and neither one had them, so. Yeah. B&M baked beans used to be in Portland, Maine, and they shut down the plant, what, probably two Jeez. years yeah. ago now? Yeah, yeah. And Ever since they shut the plant, they used to make brown bread along with the beans. And a lot of people have not heard, what the heck is brown bread? Well, it's just what it says. It's brown bread in a can. And it is delicious. It goes great with beans or goes great with anything. And uh, so we haven't been able to find it. And a company out west bought the B&M brand, as huh. I understand it. And uh, I don't know if they're going to be just doing the bean thing or they're going to be making brown bread. But we're, we're looking everywhere we find a grocery store to see if they have any. So Yeah, we're looking for that. We're looking for Puritan Pine, Minwax Stain, yeah, yeah. Uh, oil-based. We're looking for just about everything. Donnie did get some we in the mail have, the other day, yeah, right? We, we had a, a viewer that viewed our last video on, and we were talking about not being able to find this stain and yesterday in the UPS stopped 
and brought me four quarts <coughs> of Minwax stain from a viewer that saw the video and I really appreciate that that's that's wonderful so uh, we're all set there and and uh, I can't thank him enough for for doing that that's quite a quite a thing and uh, I believe it came out of South Carolina or North Carolina wicked so wonderful and uh, so many many thanks for that yeah and if we ever find this brown bread I'll buy a whole case of it yeah you know and just leave it in the can yeah won't go bad no no you can't hurt it by freezing it yeah plus we'll show you how we uh, oh yeah how we cook it Donnie and I I think we are in full agreement the best way to prepare it yeah yeah so we'll show you guys that if we're lucky enough to get some here right but I, I, I had one can left at home me I too i got one it. can yeah i forgot it so we're gonna stop in the ashland food mat it's sure fine and see yeah. if we can find it here it is yeah, yeah. if anybody would have it it'd be them wouldn't it well even if it's they, 10 yeah, years old yeah right doesn't matter how old it is it's in a can how can it how can it go bad <laughs> it can't go bad unless the can gets rusty right no that's <laughs> true uh, oh here we are a little break from the ride yep finally yeah i well, don't know so i can walk when i get out of here no kidding uh, you, want, right. you want some oil oh god if i need it we had a little little mishap on the ride my freaking uh brakes got disconnected and dragged on the road so we dragged that off and dragged them cables so we ain't gonna have lights or brakes for the for the ride home yeah that thing must have come loose and dragged for a couple hundred miles it, it wouldn't work at all no i didn't even want to plug it in there's oh, okay. there's open Too wires and yeah so well I'll shut this off and we'll go in. Start a duck puddle in. A duck puddle campground. Oh, you know, they're down to Pemaquid. Yeah. I was there one oh. time, long time ago. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. That's, that's right close people. to, whoops, all right, you're all right. right yeah. Close, that's right close to us. Yeah, we were, we, were, we weren't little kids, but we yeah. found a, we camped at that campground and we found a tennis court lit out in the woods. Really? Oh, yeah, <laughs> not too far from there. Basically. Oh, maybe that's on uh, East Palm Road. That tennis court. There was a dirt road. Went oh. down the dirt road. It was just there, and there was a light box. We flicked it on. The lights came on. <laughs> so we played tennis all night. Oh no kidding! Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't wow. even drink back then. <laughs> wow! I wonder and if that's the one off East Pond Road. Uh, Bear. It Bear wasn't too far because we were with the guy's parents. Was there a camp or a house near it, or was yeah, there? No, any? All I can all I can remember is being at the duck puddle. Yeah. And then we went. You didn't have too much to drink then. No, I didn't. Well, okay. I said, I don't think we drank. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was still playing football. And, uh, I, was, I was afraid I'd get kicked off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, they yeah. couldn't afford to play without me, I'll tell you. Because <laughs> no, not far from that, closer to Damariscotta Lake, there is a court yeah, off right. the East Pond Road, right, halfway yeah. down that camp road right but is this there's like nothing I got nothing there no there's, there's yeah, right. the closest house is that's a half mile, we were. Half mile away they might have been camping there before well that's good you told us they've been looking for you <laughs> <laughs> about 40 <laughs> years now yeah. that would have been that would have been almost yeah america's <laughs> most wanted i bet you that was closer to 45. you killed the game of tennis they said <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. yeah well good all right. You never know you, who you're going to meet up. No, you never know. That's why I always have my wife say, what are you talking about? So you never know somebody. Yeah. You never know. So the right. last time we were in town, the, the girl at the gas station asked where we were from, said Jefferson, and he built her barn because she lived in Jefferson well, for about, years. I built her. Her, her house or barn. Well, well, it was a relative of hers. Yeah. Which barn. Was. Uh, house. This shoot. Gas no, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the it was this gas station right, right down here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, on the corner? Or yeah. The, no. no, the one this, this way. Owls. Where Owls. they come out and pump your gas for. Yeah. Shelly? I think that's, I think it was Shelly. Yeah. yeah. It's a Shelly. Yeah. Tony Clark's girlfriend. Oh, yeah. How long ago? This was. Well, was this a, this summer she told oh, us, okay, but right. he built it. Right. Geez, how many years ago did you oh, build I built it? it? Built the oh. place in Jefferson. I built a husband from. Yeah. 
which is, and I never knew this lady that pumped the gas. Yeah. They take care. She owned it. Now she owned it. Now she owned it. Oh, she yeah. owns it. Owned yeah. Her oh, wow. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So it's a small world. Out never know. There. See you yeah, guys. Thanks. Hi. Well, Donnie, I can't believe it. We got us some brown bread. Yes, sir. We got a month's supply. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, well, there you go. Hey, have a great day. What's, what's, uh, where the hell is Dammer Slaughter? Yeah, I coach, I've been all over the place, but we never were, we never down. Is that near, uh, uh, Thomaston? Is it? No, yeah. going the other way. Yep, it's 20 minutes from, well, well you know where about a half hour from Thomaston. Where Walter Barrow is? Okay, yeah, I know Cody's where, but, Dino yeah, we just, yeah, I, I, I no. just have never down in that, in that area. Okay. You know, down east, but the you other were, way. If you went south on Route 1 from, Duck puddle where you okay, camped yeah. out, you'd run right ten into minutes. Ah, ten minutes. Ten minutes. See, I was from Skowhegan originally. Okay. So I was in the central Maine. I went from the, 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 the what do they call it? Oh, the heart of Maine to the crown of Maine. Yeah. Okay. I've, been here, yeah. Like, I've got my first teaching. Did job you play in, sports? In Skowhegan? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I football and baseball uh, yeah. uh, big time. But anyway, I coached everything up here for oh, no 35 kidding. years. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Did yeah. you know, you, mu you must know his brother in law is David Ames. Dave Ames? Yeah. Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Dave, and I, well, I've gone to... I've gone to uh, you remind me a little bit of him. Oh, well, good, yeah. Only on the good side. Hey, I, I haunted him. because I was, I was for a, you. I was good. A, he needs haunting. I, was a, I, was I a, haunt him now. I was a... You, well, if you tell him you saw Nima, or number 28. Uh, 28. If, if you can remember that. Oh, oh yeah. Because... Uh, because he was the intramural director, yeah. and yeah. I went to college 76 or 80. I was a little behind. Okay. I should have graduated the year I went. But anyway, so I was in that intramural office every year because I joined the fraternity, and a bunch of us joined, and we went from worst to second place. Oh, wow. <laughs> he was in there, and he actually he said, you ought to apply for the intramural scholarship. And the other guy said the same thing, and, and uh, he, he, said, he said, apply for that. He says, you ought to get it. And I yeah. said, what do you mean? He says, because nobody else applied. So anyway, they had the the, the, the thing, and I, my name's on there. Oh, and every wow. other year, there was two people every year. And John Campbell, his assistant, said, oh, yeah, John. I said, how come there's only one name? He says, because all the other years, two people applied, so we give it to them. He says, you're the first lone winner since 1966. There you go. Actually, and then my good friend up here was a big time official, and David Mike, Mike, Mike and Dave, and Mike and Dave are good yeah, friends. Mike, well, yeah. I went to the tournament. Mike my teams Pistons. went to the tournament every year. Yeah. Yeah. He says, you can. Then I went backwards to coach my daughter. We came up. I was the assistant coach. He says, you can't stand up. I said, I'm running this friggin' team. So the other guy, you know, <laughs> David said that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. So we've actually gone down and played golf with him in uh, uh, Samoset. Yeah. And he, oh, yeah. Us this summer. yeah. he got two free tickets to Fort up here and uh but anyway yeah so no, no, no we'll yeah. tell him number 28 yeah, 28 if ne you see that nemo wait nemer nemer joe I tell the kids, i'm joe you know, by the way i tell the kids if you can't remember nemer remember fever yeah <laughs> i thought help do fever runs with nemer well, we'll, we'll but, tell him we went to the samuset i got my golf cart and he'd already got number 28 for me oh, oh. no way <laughs> <laughs> hey, take care. see you nemer well dude small world yeah wicked small world Oh man, you got room for them on, on by your feet, Donnie, or I could take them over here. What's that? You got room for them? Yes, we can put it. Oh yeah, that'll work. Well, it is cold. It's some raw out here. <laughs> that wind. She blowing straight sideways on us. Now, isn't that crazy? You, you yeah. everywhere you go, you see or meet somebody, you. He just reminded. He reminded me of Dave Ames. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he kind of did. Yep. Except this guy was nice. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy's good at sports yeah right yeah and cards yeah oh that yeah. is something yeah i was just looking at the weather for the next couple days and it looks like we're supposed to get 47 high of 47 tomorrow high of 45 high of 45 again so i said well maybe these frozen dirt roads will get a little greasy by the time we go to leave at night it's just freezing up and donnie and i got talking about uh stink holes we call them where you're driving along then you just kind of disappear and, and i haven't been in too many i've been in one i've been in a couple like during trapping season but like we're talking about the spring ones where yeah, where right. thaws and yeah over the years uh, my friend woody and i would go up to to lobster lake in in the springtime usually happened in late 
April 1st of May, and even on the Golden Road, we would occasionally find those holes, but you could dodge them on the Golden Road, but the side roads going into camp, you had no choice, so, you know, very little choice of dodging anything, and we got into some real messes at times. <laughs> I mean, we'd have to get out a, a piece of planking and a jack and jack the rear end up and try to throw sticks and logs underneath it, and it was just a nightmare. Just a bottomless deep, hole? Yeah, yeah. It, there was no bottom to it. And, uh, you know, there was frost coming out of the out of the ground in these different places. And, and it was like getting into a slush pocket oh. on, a, on a lake in the wintertime. It, it's, it's a nightmare. <laughs> but we've been in them, and luckily we made it out of every one we've been in. So. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, what do you say? Sometimes you don't know whether to go forward or backwards. Right. You, sometimes you don't know which way to go. If you're going to go forward, you might get into it worse or, or what. But, uh, you know, it's, then we started carrying pieces of four-foot pieces of plank. Yeah. You know, like a two-by-eight or a two-by-ten and, and throw that under the tires and, and get up on top of that and then decide... Well, should we put one in back of the tire or one in front of the tire and <laughs> keep going? Oh, boy. But that was in my younger days. Nowadays, I'd probably, I don't know what the heck I'd do. Yeah. <laughs> You'd probably do the same thing. I'd probably have to do the yeah. same thing. There was, we had no choice. Nobody around. Yep. You know, you had no choice. It's one of the things you kind of plan on, I guess. Yeah. You know, we always carried a come along. Oh, yeah. So we could you know, pull too, mm -hmm. if we got into a real bad spot, but the way they cut it now, it's hard to find a tree alongside the road that's big enough to put a come along. Yep. But, uh, oh yeah, we've been in some messes. So. Yeah. yeah, I've had a few messes like that too. I remember one spring, Greg and I were up there. I don't know why we were up there. Might have been the year he bought his camp, and we hit one of those, and luckily, yeah. luckily he put it to the carpet and we, we bounced out, really? yeah. But we didn't go back the same way. That was actually over near Little Lobster. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it can get that way up north, you yeah. know. But this trip, we're, we're thinking like the worst it's gonna get on this trip is just greasy on top, you yeah. know, where the, on the roads that they've already plowed. But you never know, I mean, with these trees, even like a high of 47, you know, it, it could still be freezing on the ground. Yeah. You know, right. and with the trees you know, and the shade. The, yeah, the frost in the ground, you know, isn't, it isn't melting out, you know, it won't melt out this time of year with one or two days of high temperatures. It takes oh. a few days of high temperatures to, you know, really get the frost out of the ground. Yeah. But it's something to look forward to a little bit later. Oh, yeah. It's, uh. Mud season, you want to be careful coming up in the woods, I'll tell you that, have, have the right stuff. But yeah. we're we're hitting the dirt road right now, so I'm gonna let you guys go for right now, and next time you see us, hopefully we're in there as far as we can get, and we're unloading the snowmobiles.